Welcome to The Metal Prognosis, my name is Lee, and on today's video, we are looking at different distortion pedals and the difference between them. The only thing is, I'm not gonna tell you which distortion pedals we're gonna use first, because we're gonna do a blind test, and I don't want you to have like a biased opinion towards one or the other. So, let's do a jam. Every four bars, I'll keep swapping it out. See which one you like, see which one stands out for you the most, or which one you might dislike, for whatever reason. We'll do a reveal at the end of it, and then we'll go through all the individual ones and listen to them as we go. So as you can see, I've done all the recordings there. It's all done and dusted. So I'm just gonna have a jam along just for the visuals, because it's lots of fun. So, let's cue the little cartoon intro. Let's have a jam, and let's have a good chat about it uh, on the other side. You can hop up if you can. Yeah, you can hop up. All right, now I've heard the jam and had a reveal of all the different pedals uh, going on. 
let's go through and talk about them. So firstly, a bit of transparency. I had them running all through my Solid Studio here, which is a really cool amp uh, and cab simulator. And I had my own third-party IRs running through here. I can't remember which one though, um, but they're all on the same one and it sounded pretty cool. So let's go through all these individually and have a bit of a chat about them. So first we had little Gent Hot Tone pedal here. And looking at the settings here, I had uh, the, the gain up to nine out of 10, so pumping pretty hard. And I had the EQ tipped all the way to high as far as it could go. So let's hear that sounds uh, by itself. So you definitely hear that nice saturation that's got there, um, which is really cool. A little bit gloomy, considering I pushed this as high, the EQ as high as it could go. But in saying that, I didn't blend it with anything else. So I didn't touch the EQ on what would be an amp or anything like that. So take that with a bit of grain of salt because we're missing out on that counterbalance there. And now let's look at the Oh My Goat. So the settings I had for this one is, I've really pushed the mids and the trebs. Bass pushed up a little bit. Boost and gain are pretty much at 12 o'clock. But yeah, uh, I definitely, I think that's more of a me style thing where I like to push the um, treble and the mids. But let's hear how this one sounded by itself. So pretty cool. A lot of grunt to it, a lot of, um, rawness to it that I really like. And even though I push the mids and, and the treble pretty high, there's still enough bottom and dynamic there. So moving on to the metal AMD one or AMD one, which is uh, the cheapest pedal out of all this, uh, which we'll do a bit of a, a price comparison afterwards. Uh, so this one, I had the gain at about one o'clock, tone push to max, and also had the level push that's max. Now with this one here, um, I definitely had to, let me just quickly go into it to have a look. Yeah, I've got plus five dB running through there, trying to match it up as equally as possible as all the rest of them. So there was the least amount of signal coming through this one. But let's hear how it sounded. By itself that is, because we heard it in the mix. See if we can get a riff happening with it. So not too bad, I didn't mind the saturation in that. Um, and yeah, it did, it did well for what it did. So pushing on to uh, the Gent Tonic by Black Cat Amps. Um, the low is sitting at 12 o'clock and I've pushed the mids and highs to about two, nearly three o'clock on here. Uh, gain is at one o'clock. And the level, this one had the most oomph out of it. And I had to pull back the level uh, quite a bit compared to the rest. And as you can see, uh, the waveforms on the screen here, they are definitely um, coming through the hottest. So in saying that, let's hear it. So that was definitely pushing the most out of uh, all of it. Let's just go to a different section so we can hear something else with it. So once again, lots of saturation, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and it, that's what it sounds like by itself. So now let's move on to some final thoughts. <laughs> I grabbed my tea like an actual thing with final thoughts. But it's not. So these four pedals are very different uh, in all regards, making where they came from and the price range. So quickly talking about the price range is the AMD one is the cheapest. I think this was $25 including shipping. So crazy cheap and you can actually the, the casings not too bad but these knobs are very very um, plasticky and hollow and the next one is the little gent pedal which this cost me about a hundred dollars I think uh, 
but that was also on special, so I don't know what the retail price is for this one. Uh, for a little pet, it's definitely uh, well built, it takes up very tiny space, but also you get a pretty gnarly sound out of such a small little pedal, which uh, I'm very, I've always been impressed by that. The next two were pretty much the same price range, which is about the $200 mark. Uh, these two are definitely the best built uh, out of all four that we had here. Um, and sound-wise, very different, but also very cool. When it comes to which one sounds better and which one was lacking a little bit, I think the only thing that was lacking was the volume output in the AMD one. When it comes to actual quality, it all comes to the individual's uh, opinion because they're all good in their own regards and characteristic wise, they all have their own little ticks, which I like, I really like that. Uh, so, what are your thoughts though? How did you feel? Were there any that stood out for you uh, while listening to it? And how did you feel when you had the reveal? Did you actually know about these pedals? Uh, or were they a little bit new to you? or whatever the case might be. Were there any that just sounded a little bit rubbish where you're like, <laughs> I'll never go down that path. Um, whatever your thoughts are, let's start a conversation down in the com comments. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. It was lots of fun putting together and doing, and always cool just having a bit of a jam and, and mucking around with some cool songs. And I thoroughly look forward to chatting with you next time. And until next time, please stay safe.